a creek a creek or a ditch you tell me <laughs> oh I know it's a long way down there well starting right at this point here um, and I didn't notice it till after I had downloaded everything and then was checking out the individual clips but somehow the microphone got disconnected or something but uh anyway what I was talking about was when I when I am not recording I like to keep all the locks on the gimbal that's three locks on there for the motors so it doesn't flop around and uh, when I start recording if I don't unlock all three then it'll do what it's doing right here like going back and forth that means I didn't unlock one of them you know and it's trying to it's trying to balance itself out is what it's doing so I need to make sure I uh, pay more attention to that and also pay attention to whether that dang microphone is um, plugged into the hole connected securely and and into the microphone part also it is a just a single cord that you know you can replace if you need to if it goes bad but mine my problem was I just didn't have it connected all the way tight that's all I'm not very good at narration but um, I'll try and do my best I use this old TAC mic that used to be my dad's he used to have a TX stereo and a, a TX tape deck, and this was the microphone to it. It's pretty unique. It's got it's a little desk stereo desk microphone that has it's tilted on two sides. You know that one is left, one right, directional, and it also has two cords. So I had to I had to get an adapter and plug that, those into the adapter for left and right before I could plug it into the computer. But I like the sound of it. It's pretty good. It's it's pretty decent, I, I think. I don't know. My voice sounds kind of weird anyway. But uh, this does left and right pretty easy. Like this test, test, hello, and this. Test, test, hello, hello. There's the bridge we're coming up to. I like this little area. I've, I've taken walks before through here and uh, well I didn't I never took the dog here but um, this is her first time but I used to shoot a lot of pictures of birds and stuff and uh, this is one of the places I'd go I'd go right along the water and uh, and and you know birds always hang around the water and stuff so there's like a lot of herons and all kind of birds around the water but then when I get into the woods up a little bit farther is one time where I got a picture of a big old owl in the daytime and that's unusual because you know usually owls just hide somewhere and you can't find them in the daytime and then at night they start making their hoo hoo noises so that was pretty interesting yeah I think it was just a regular uh, gray owl or something it's pretty big though I need to post that picture up one day. One day, whenever I get a community page, ha <laughs> ha, then maybe I'll, I could post stuff on it. For those of you that don't know, if you're starting out like on the, my channel, then you don't get a community page till I think it's either four or five hundred subscriptions, and then you get one. And it's really it's really sad when the, the people that do have a lot of subs. They never use that community page and it's pretty handy because you could post it and then you could post something you know on there and, and it, it will YouTube will take that and it'll shuffle it with everything else and your subs should see it you know whatever you post so that's pretty handy to have because when you don't have one like me then you're left with with the uh, other social media like Facebook or Instagram or something you know and then then you have to figure how many people are actually actually on Facebook or Instagram and YouTube you know and follow all of them well I do because I have for a long time but you know a lot of people just say I like YouTube but I don't like Facebook 
I don't like Facebook, so I'm not on Instagram, blah, 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 you know. So it's really difficult to get a message or a schedule or something out unless you do have a community board. Are you listening, YouTube? You need to just give us all community boards so we can communicate to everybody else easily. Um, this part of the creek that we're coming up to, I stopped for a minute there because one of those big giant great blue herrings heard all the noise I was making and took off and flew. Of course, I didn't get a, I didn't have a chance to catch a picture of him because I was too busy messing with trying to hold the dog back and <laughs> and, and messing with this camera. I don't use like uh, I don't use like a regular phone, you guys, to to do my movies and stuff. What I do is uh, I have a Sony A7 II and I have a 28 millimeter lens on it, and it's not really heavy if you count just the camera. But when you get a, a decent gimbal and then put the camera on top of it, then you're talking about four or five pounds total. And uh, I know that's not very heavy. That's about like a bag of sugar or something like that. But after you're holding it with one arm all the time and then, you know, making sure that you're not going up and down, bouncing around and stuff, then it does get tiring. But, you know, that's why you have two hands. <laughs> but all this time, though, I was switching. I was holding the gimbal out where I, you guys would get a good picture while I'm walking. And then trying to get, switch back and forth on arms because the dog kept going behind me and go to the left and go to the right and stuff and it was tangling me up. But <laughs> that's all the stuff that you don't really see, huh? <laughs> yeah, this is the area right here where I, where the that blue heron was. He just heard me and just jumped up and flew away. Too bad, because they're pretty big birds. They're very majestic, I think. And uh, I don't know if you guys have ever watched a, a blue heron eat by the water. If you if you ever see one, stop and watch what they're doing. They're they're fishing for smaller fish if they're standing in the in the water right there at the edge. And uh, when they catch see a fish, they'll they'll either stick them with their with their their beak, or else they'll clamp onto them until they die or whatever. And uh. Since they don't have no knife and fork and arms and legs, well, they have legs, but they don't have no arms, then what they have to do is take it, they take the fish and they'll toss it up in the air and then they'll catch it in their mouth and gulp it down. It's amazing to watch, really. I mean, to them, it's, it's nothing because that's how they were always taught to do it, you know, and it's pretty amazing. And I'm talking about you know, some fish are big that they catch, you know. They could catch like big old crappie and stuff, but the small fish, it's a lot easier for them to toss and catch. But the bigger ones, they might take it up onto the, the shore and then, and then pick at it and stuff. I don't know. But it's amazing. Watch it sometime when you see one. And this is the area that I was, I was saying, the woods, the wooded area. I think it's pretty. It's it's uh I've had a I've had a photo shoot here once a long long time ago, and uh they came out pretty good. Of course, right now it's overcast and gray, about to rain, and uh so it's got a lot of, a lot of shadows in this. But I like the look of the forest back in there. That's pretty cool. Hey, I'm finally getting a good steady picture. Wow. <laughs> Where's the dog? <laughs> nice. Well, it's just a little bit farther till we get through the woods, and uh, you could either turn right and go down some more trails, but we're going to choose going left and uh, go back to the where we turned in because back there there's a couple of couple of big areas for dog parks that they've got one you know like one for the big dogs and one for the little dogs I like letting her go in the one with the big dogs if there's only a few dogs in there but but if there's too many then she'll probably freak out so 
it's better just to let her into the one with the, for the smaller and medium dogs. <laughs> dogs are weird anyway. You they get you you take them out there and you let them go. Most of the time they go crazy and just want to run all over the place and check out all the other dogs and check out every corner you know that they can. <laughs> They know it's fun, yeah, but it's good. They get their exercise and stuff, and I like it. I like a good, decent dog park, you know, where you can go and feel safe. I don't like one. I don't like one where you go and and the people aren't around and your dog gets mauled or wants to get into a fight. Though, no, no way. I don't like that at all. Here we're coming out of the woods a little bit. This trail. Uh, it goes off toward the right, but a lot of people made their own little trail by going off to the left. And I saw that, and uh, out of the corner of my eye, on the right side, I saw this lady. There's uh, two bridges, one on that side and then one behind us where we came, where the, the bridges connect to the neighborhood so the p people have easy access. But I saw this lady with her little dog coming that way and I, I said let me let me go on this trail that way Yuki won't see her dog and want to want to fight and stuff <laughs> um, Yuki's usually a really nice dog that you know if, if if somebody comes up to me she'll growl and stuff at him but if I talk to that person then she'll be friends with him also but if you go to a, a dog park it's a different story isn't it depends on how close you stay to your dog if you let them run free or whatever you know in the dog parks most people will let them run free but I like to hang close for a while because just to see what kind of dogs are in there you know if there's only a couple it's all right you know but um, I don't like a whole gang of dogs and stuff in there and let her run around and because it's hard to hard to, to stop what happens you know if there's a group of dogs but Usually, she, usually she's okay. If there's just too many dogs in the big dog park, I'll take her to the, the little doggy park, you know, the little dog side. And she could usually hold her own in there. Um, this would be a good place to bring a bicycle also. I, I do remember once a long time ago when the kids were young, my son brought a skateboard and skateboarded all up and down this and that was pretty cool but you know what would be really popular nowadays is if you had one of those little electric scooters or the what do they call those uh, the one wheel yeah those things are pretty cool I think it's mostly younger people that ride them because they have the better <laughs> better reflexes and stuff and easier for them to control but yeah look up you look up on YouTube and look up one wheel and uh you see a bunch of people on there doing it. The ones that I follow, well, the one I follow is is a is a girl, and she's pretty good at it. She's you can go real good, and then you can stop fairly easy, and then turn directions real quick on those things. And they go on all terrain too. You could do it on pavement, grass, dirt, and stuff, and. So that's pretty cool. Did you see that squirrel run off to the left? <laughs> I saw it. Everybody saw it, but Yuki didn't see it. Thank God. She's just like all into walking in somewhere new and sniffing everything, and she's not really looking around. If she would have seen any of those three other squirrels I saw, she would have been going nuts. <laughs> Okay, here we are at the dog park. There's no dogs, no other dogs here, so I just let her run free. And uh, I saw these little ramps in the distance, and I'm trying to make her go up one of those. She did okay, but she was kind of scared at first. But, uh, you know, you watch those dog shows where they go up and down the ramps and through tunnels and all kind of stuff and running back and forth. <laughs> I, I, guess it's, I guess you could train them to do that, do that eventually, but... I don't think Yuki would want to now. If she was younger and you trained her, I guess it would be pretty cool.
here's the first one that we came up to she would go halfway up and then jump off the side <laughs> so so i just grabbed her by the by the almost by the collar and then let her walk up and then she understood and finally she made it to the top yay way to go yuki There, she made it. <laughs> Aww. She's such a good girl. She could come down, no problem. <laughs>